Hello Desert Bear Hawk fans. Well, we're in the shop again tonight and I thought I'd shoot a real quick video showing that I have the wing strut attached straps. The steel straps where the wing strut attaches to the wing from the fuselage. They are on the right. Let's see which spar am I working on. Do, 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 left spar. My bad. The left spar is complete. You can see it sitting in there with the AN hardware holding it in place. Goes through that number 11 rib just nice. And um, I'm going to flip the spar over now. Hopefully, it won't drop anything. And there we are on the inside. Um, I've got temporary hardware, temporary nuts holding this in position because I'm going to have to remove these parts a couple of times. And I don't want to wear out the lock nuts until it's time to torque it down for final torque. Um, you can see I've got the pulley mount in, but I don't have the 3 16 hole drilled here because I haven't decided if this pulley bracket needs to be moved this way. And if so, I might notch it a little bit so it'll go around that rivet right there. Um, as you remember, the continuing saga of me misdrilling one hole a quarter inch off has now moved everything down a quarter of an inch. And we, we're running into a little interference here. It's not much, but just a little bit. I have to think about how this is gonna how this is gonna sit, how the pulley's gonna sit. You know, the cable comes in this way, excuse me cable comes in uh, this way from the uh, root and then around this pulley and then follows its way out the wing strut and down to the fuselage to complete the loop. So I have to think about this for a minute. But anyways, it's pretty much complete. This spar is 100% done now with the exception of that one hole which is about a 20 second deal. Um, one thing I did want to show you guys um, if you're building a bear hawk and you're scratching your spars, you got to cut this. Um, you got to cut the slot right here for your steel to go through. And um, you can see where, if I get in there close, you can see where I initially marked it. And now the slot's an actually it's actually an eighth of an inch wider or so on this side. And then the same thing over here. Sept for that's a word I I use. Sep for. Um, the slot is about a quarter inch wider on this side. So when you draw your lines, and what I did is I had the the lower piece bolted in, and then I just took my square off the top here and come down to the edge and lined it up and made a line. Just kind of plan on slewing everything towards the root about a eighth to three sixteenths, and you'll get a lot cleaner of a fit than I got. You won't have that little hole right there like I have, and it's no big deal. But if you want to look professional grade, man, you have that thing just right in there perfect. Just plan on being about 3 16 to the to the root on both sides and you'll end up just perfect. So another thing too, um, when you're drilling the holes to put the hardware in, what I did is I started with this hole up here and I... Uh, I located it and staked it with a with a center punch and I drilled the quarter inch hole on my drill press. This little drill press right over here. And then um, bolted the uh, the steel in and I actually did it from this side here because the other the lower piece has to go through the spar. So you gotta kinda locate it first before you cut your hole. So you're gonna you're going to want to do the top one, the top steel first. So I drilled this hole, located it, and then you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but I shot a line, a center line down through. It comes all the way down to where I marked my hole down here. So I put the bolt in, tightened it all down nice and tight. Moved this back and forth here, you know, back and forth until I got it lined up. Got the hole lined up with the center line I marked. And this is 30 degrees to to uh, the center line of the the spar. Then I drilled this hole, match drilled it, I put the bolt in there, and then it was just a matter of match drilling these three holes. And uh, it was pretty stressful to drill the first hole, 
Uh, the second hole was a little less stressful. I slowed, the, I slowed my drill way down to like 360 RPMs, way slow. And because uh, I was chattering and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And then these other three, piece of cake, man. Easy peasy. So there it is. It's all ready to go. You can see everything lines up. The hole, well, kind of looks like you got some parallax going on there. Get it right. There it is. Hole lines up. We're ready to go. Now to do this. Get that one down there on the floor. Got to get its steel in there. And uh, I'll be done with both main spars. I can start on the rears. I know I said I was going to start on them, you know, probably two weeks ago. But little things just keep creeping up on me. Anyways, there you have it. Hope you enjoy. If you're building, build on. And we'll see you in the shop.